Okay, so in this video, we're gonna talk about mastering your mindset. So having a positive mindset throughout um, building a business is really, really important, and it's something that's gonna keep you going throughout this whole time. So I've been doing this two years, and if I have not had not spent any time focusing on my mindset and personal development, there's no way I would have lasted. And there's times that you'll experience some lows in your business. And if you don't have a positive mindset and a, a way to master it, to bring your mindset back, um, you're really going to struggle. And I know so many times when people are struggling in their business, it's because they are not focusing on their mindset. That needs to really be a really important part of, of working your business, especially when it's something that you're doing completely on your own. It's your business. You're not going in somewhere where you're going to have a boss telling you what to do. It's all up to you to work your business. And so you're the one leading your own business. You're the one going to be leading your own team. So it's really important that you have a great mindset. So, um, the process of this boot camp is really designed to push you out of your comfort zone and it's going to be a little bit scary. Um, if you have the right mindset though, you can conquer this. And what we're going to do is we're going to be essentially a little analogy for you is we're going to be creating a business machine. Okay. So you're, you're focusing on starting to build your business, creating your business and and we're going to look at it kind of as a machine and your mindset is the electricity that makes this whole machine actually work. And so we're kind of going to talk about some tools that you can use to fix that electricity whenever you feel like power has gone out. Um, so there's some certain characteristics that you need that it takes to win. Okay. Characteristics you need to be successful. And one of them is guts. Okay. I know that you have the guts right now because you signed up to do this and you're, you're taking this business boot camp training. Okay. Um, that takes guts to sign up and do something like this. So to accomplish anything great, you need to have guts like you've never had before. And you're going to get pushed out of your comfort zone. The only way to grow is to expand your comfort zone. So one of my favorite quotes is there's no growth in the comfort zone and there's no comfort in the growth zone. So when you're growing, it's uncomfortable. And, um, but once you actually do grow and you expand that comfort zone, it just becomes, I mean, you just feel so good. Like you can accomplish anything. Um, the path to reaching your goals in your business and, um, with your income goals that you have and any success that you have, it's always going to be outside of your comfort zone. So when you're kind of setting goals and thinking about where you want to go, you've got to be like, okay, here's me inside my happy little bubble. And then out there are my goals. And so that's what you've got to be thinking of that the path to actually get there, you've got to get a little uncomfortable and it takes guts to do that. It's so much easier to just stay in the easy comfort zone. But remember, there's no growth in the comfort zone. So another characteristic it takes to win is tenacity. And if you don't have tenacity, then you're not going to keep going. So tenacity is basically the willingness to keep trying different approaches until you find something that works. And essentially you are going to going to have obstacles come in your way mentally prepare for them now. <clears throat> okay. Because you need to remember to keep trying until it works because it will work. So here's an example. When I first joined, I did not have any training. <laughs> we all kind of joined when the company first started and we were all just like, throw me a bone. We did not know what we were doing. And so, um, we all kind of just figured it out. And, but in order to figure it out, we had to have tenacity. We had to have the willingness to keep trying different approaches until we found something that worked. And so, a lot of what this training is, is the stuff that works. But even though you have this training, there's still going to be things that come up for you that are going to be different, that you're going to need to think of a different approach. And um, if something doesn't work, just don't give up and say, oh, this doesn't work. I'm, I quit. You've got to be like, okay, well, that didn't work. There's got to be another 
another thing that works. So, um, if all you, I mean, honestly, if all you have is guts and tenacity, you really can create an online business and reach your goals. You can achieve anything you've ever wanted. Seriously, with these two characteristics, nothing can stop you. Um, but if you don't cultivate it right now in the beginning, it's going to take you a lot longer to reach those goals and life that you want to achieve. So just realize you are going to have little failures and things aren't going to go right all the time. But when those challenges arise, push back even harder because you so badly want to reach those goals. Um, so it's important to change your mindset and create a mindset that is built for success. Um, so there's five things that you really can do to build a foundation to set yourself up for success. And by doing these five things, it's actually going to set you apart from the successful and unsuccessful people. Um, and really, if you continually do these things, you're going to be unstoppable. Um, and when, when you get lazy or you let your ego get in the way, things really start to unravel and you begin to struggle. So the first thing is to focus on the outcome, okay? When you focus only on the outcome, God forces you to succeed, which is awesome. Understand that this is just an established fact. When you focus on the outcome, you'll see success. Um, what you do is you create like a clear and a vivid image of what your victory is going to look like, even feel like. So think about your goals and kind of your vision, what you are dreaming about and what you're going for and actually envision it in your mind's eye. Focus on the outcome. So say, I want to be a national executive. Like you actually paint a vivid, clear picture of what that looks like and feels like. Or maybe it's a dollar amount. I want to make $10,000 a month. Actually imagine like going to your bank account and looking, oh, I just got my $10,000 deposited this month. You know, think about it like that. Um, when fear comes into play, it's usually because you're thinking about an outcome that you don't want. Okay. So you need to basically switch those two things around. The more time you take to create a clear picture of your goals, um, your subconscious kind of starts to take over and you begin to just create the life that you want. And that might sound a little crazy, but, um, I've definitely experienced that in my own life. I have totally had mindset where I've put goals on my vision board and I have visualized them and I visualize the outcome and it's totally happened. And it's just something that once it's on your, once it's on your mind, your subconscious starts to think about it and it puts opportunities in front of you. So you'll be able to accomplish your goals and work towards accomplishing them. And it's really, really amazing. So the second thing that'll separate you from unsuccessful people is living your destiny. So you have a divine destiny. Everybody does. Everybody has unlimited potential. And the way you do that is by one, staying authentic to who you are. And then um, two, understanding that you're just capable for more. Okay. So this, this is totally a mindset thing. So once you once you realize you've got a divine destiny, unlimited potential, and you're capable of more than you can really imagine then you start to not settle for less. So, and then you start to kind of live out this ideal life that's bigger and grander than you've ever dreamed of. And I know that kind of sounds a little bit vague right now, but I think as you keep working through this course, you'll kind of understand that you've got, you've got a divine destiny. Okay. And, and you can tap into that. Um, okay. So, uh, the third one is giving gratitude for your new life. So you have goals and dreams and you want to succeed at them. And so you need to train your brain every day to visualize different aspects of your, of the, of your life every day, the one that you want to live. So when you give gratitude for the life you're going to have, and you can visualize that life you want, um, you're going to start making it tangible and it's going to become a real thing. I'm telling you people who really, really do the vision board thing and, and, um, visualize their life and give gratitude. Um, their, their goals happen. The people who are really successful do this. Uh, so say you have a dream house that you really want. What color is the carpet? What color is the paint? Can you feel the texture? of the carpet. You've got to make it tangible and then be grateful for it. 
Um, it's basically like, um, it's basically like putting it out there and feeling grateful for it, even though it hasn't already happened. When you talk about it, like it already has happened, it's, it seriously does something in your subconscious. Um, like for example, a friend of mine, they were going on a summer trip and they really wanted to get an RV and they didn't have an RV yet. Um, but they wanted an RV, um, to travel across the country for a summer road trip. And they literally talked like they already had one, even though they didn't have one, they would say, Oh yeah, we'll have our RV. So, um, we'll be able to sleep in there and it'll be, you know, really awesome as we travel, even though they literally didn't own one that we'll have it. You know, they talked about it like that. And because they talked about it like that, they totally got one. And it's not just because you say, Oh, we're going to have an RV. And then one just like magically appears in your lap. That's not how it works. But because you focus on it in your mind and your subconscious is thinking about it, then what happens is you'll constantly be working towards it. That's why vision boards and things are super amazing. Um, okay. So one thing you can do for this is to spend 10 minutes a day visualizing what you want your dream life to look like. And then when you really understand your new life, you, you start to make decisions from that place. You know, you kind of live in the reality of your new life, even though it's not there yet. Um, it's easier to give up on your dreams and stay where you're comfortable, but that's how you stop progressing. Okay. That's where you begin listening to fear and then you don't grow and you don't become the greatest version of yourself. Okay. So remember, get out of that comfort zone, dream big and like seriously shoot for the stars. Okay. All right. Another thing that successful people do is they schedule their day and you should have already gone through the entire time management mini course, but go back there and to get more done in a day, you need to schedule your day and then do the most important thing first. So do that until the task is done. Just like we talked about in the time management mini course. The most important thing is probably the thing that's scaring you. And it's probably the thing that's going to push you out of your comfort zone. So, um, these things usually have like negative beliefs attached to them. So for example, like what if no one signs up for my team or what if I do this and it doesn't work or what if, what if, what if, once you have scheduled the most important thing, the rest of the day falls into place. Okay. So schedule that most important thing and then get it done with. Okay. Okay. The fifth thing is changing your negative thoughts. So there's going to be days when negative thoughts will start creeping in. And when this happens, um, you need to stop and reverse it. Okay. So you need to remember, give thanks for the outcome that you're creating. Um, so when we begin to train our subconscious to focus on what we can do and not what we can't do, then, um, then, uh, changing those negative thoughts, you know, turn into positive thoughts. It really affects your subconscious. So, um, and there's a little worksheet you can do. So whenever you have negative thoughts, replace it, literally write down, replace it with a positive thought instead. And that positive thought then becomes an affirmation for you. Okay. So like say, oh, I'm really scared. Like I can't recruit anyone to my team. A positive thought would be like, um, people really like me and they want to join my team and I'm a great leader and I can definitely recruit, you know, 10 people a month or whatever, you know, and that becomes your positive affirmation. And again, even if you don't recruit 10 people a month, you know, you're shooting for the, you're shooting for the moon and landing among the stars. Okay. So that's the way to do it. Um, so if, if, if you don't do these five things, there's really nothing I can teach you or help you with, right? Your mindset's got to be right. And you've got to be open to bigger dreams, um, in order for you to really like soar in your business. Okay. I mean, you can totally, you can totally, you know, work your business, make a couple hundred dollars a month. And that's great. If you want to make more money, then mindset is key. Okay. And just make this kind of thing a part of your daily routine. And we're going to talk about morning routine, but, um, look at your list of goals, give thanks for the things you have and things you will have. And your subconscious is going to start creating your reality. And it will be this exciting to visualize your new life and and we'll talk about more how to um, incorporate that into your, into your morning routine. But remember, success comes from a change inside of you, you um, not a change inside your business, okay? So the success really comes when you've mastered your mindset. And um, we're also going to talk about uh, 
personal development that you should be including some personal development every single day. So, um, yeah, that's kind of all I've got for mastering your mindset and definitely just, um, focus on, uh, thinking positively. And anytime you've got negative thoughts, just write it down and turn it into a positive thought. And there's actually a little worksheet that goes along with this video. So after you've watched this, um, go fill out that worksheet and it kind of helps you walk through, um, you know, dreaming big and visual, like visualizing that, um, life that you want for yourself and keeping the negative thoughts at bay. All right. See you later.